Hi, this is Jaden Dickinson with THS Media. You're talking with Cayman about the teacher versus student basketball game. Cayman, do you think the teachers have any chance of winning against the students? Um, I feel like they'll have a good chance if we don't play for real. But if we play for real, we'll blow them out. And uh, do you think you have any plans on dunking on a teacher? Um, I want them to jump with me, but after coming to all the basketball games, I don't think they will. With the drill move, oh, Robbins with the rejection. Kicks it up. Oh, came in. Oh, yes, he's got a dunk on the night. Why do you want to be a part of this event? Um, well, first, it's for a good cause, and second, we don't, we haven't done this all the time. All the years I've been here, we haven't done nothing like this, so it'll be fun to be a part of. All right, cool. Thank you. So we are interviewing for the teacher versus student basketball game. Right. Um, so do you think the teachers have a chance of winning? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, it, I, it really just depends on which teacher's play, but for the most part, no. Well, Phillips picks it up. Phillips from half. Oh! With a... Phillips from half. Cold. And he runs out of the gym. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you think Tang's going to dunk on a teacher? Uh... He's probably going to complain about his legs hurting and he's sore and tired, but if not, then yeah, it's great. And then, so tell me why you wanted to be a part of this event. Uh, it's just really cool. I get to hang out with my friends, play basketball, and at the end of the day, just being teachers, and it's cool for the community and all that. All right, thank you. So we are interviewing for the teacher versus student basketball game, Free Live for Life. Um, do you think the teachers have a chance of winning? No, nah, not really. Like. No, nah, they ain't got no chance. They ain't got no chance. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Cameron just kind of flops on the floor. Another three from Cameron. You think Cameron would dunk on a teacher? No. Uh, I think if Cameron's legs is feeling good, then he'll definitely catch a body. Yeah. Tell me why you wanted to be a part of this event. Uh, it's for a good cause, for cancer awareness or whatever. So, yeah. I just want to make some money for cancer. Yes, thank you to the teachers. Real Life for Life is a charity event where people run and raise money for the fight against cancer. We get together and raise money for the American Cancer Society. We do Relay for Life for the fight against cancer. This is a great leadership opportunity for a lot of students. So um, whether you're on planning committee and you're actually planning this stuff, or if you're just making a team or you're a team captain, um, you're doing a lot just to kind of get motivated and you know that this is an important cause and you're working towards it. Jackson County is welcome to join. Anyone in the Jackson County area can join. Um, mostly students make teams, um, sell food, sell games for on-site fundraisers, but it's also open to the community to come and have a great time with us. Um, here at Truman from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It is April 6th to 7, so it's 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. because it's that overnight fundraiser. Um, and it is open to the public from 7 p.m. to midnight. All of Jackson County is welcome to join and run for a good cause against cancer. This is THS Media signing off. Really for Life is just a few days away and we cannot wait. Truman Suco is playing a fun night with events like human foosball and special performances by some local bands. Really for Life is all about helping people in their fight with cancer and even a student here at Truman overcame his battle and is going to tell us a story and what Really for Life is really about. I've been really involved um, with the fight against cancer in several different ways because uh, when I was in sixth grade, I was diagnosed with leukemia and um, I fought that throughout middle school and um, finished chemotherapy actually in high school. And I don't think necessar necessarily that that gives me like more credibility in being involved in the fight against cancer, but just gives me a different perspective um, from a lot of different people. So um, I thought I'd take advantage of that and help others who are trying to fight the disease. Most definitely. And um, what what is Real Life for Life doing to um, help with the fight for cancer? So a lot of people, when they think of Relay for Life or other um, cancer fundraisers, they um, think about research, which is like one of the most obvious things. Um, so absolutely, my Relay for Life money goes to research. Um, in fact, I don't know the exact number, but I think it's somewhere in the billions of dollars that's, that's fantastic. invested in research. But 
Um, other ways that they fight cancer is um, providing rides for people to get to treatment, um, supporting people who are going through treatment, whether that's getting them a wig. Um, the American Cancer Society has a place downtown called the Hope Lodge where you can stay if you got to come in town from a far distance to get treatment. And um, so they just have, a, there's a lot of different ways other than just research that they help really on an individual level as well. And uh, on Saturday, what are, you, uh, what are you looking forward to like coming out of that? What are you um, I think, I, I really hope that Saturday um, is gives people like, like a new experience and teaches them a lot of stuff. One thing we wanted to focus a lot on this year was education uh, because that Relay for Life event is really an opportunity to teach people ways to prevent cancer, um, things they probably didn't know about cancer. Um, once again, like ways they can get involved in the fight against cancer that, um, which is more ranging than a lot of people think. So um, I really hope to like that everybody who comes will learn something new. Hey, what's going on, Patriots? I'm Kyler Barnett, and I'm here with freshman soccer player, El Shram. Let's hop right into it. So, you play basketball, you were a freshman, you got a little bit of varsity time here and there for that. You're playing varsity as a soccer player. What's it like to, you know, be a freshman and contribute a big amount on these varsity teams? Well, I would say it's a great opportunity to help out the team, and I'm going to do everything I can do to help the team get to, or get to its best. Still? Okay. I'm here with junior soccer player Vivian Zayafet. Let's hop right into it. So, you just got back from a trip from France, I understand. You got a couple practices in before you left, but now you're back. What are you looking forward to most about getting back into the swing of things with the soccer team and being around the girls? I really miss my teammates, and I just want to get back and work together so we can do the best that we can this year. And so, you know, this year, looking ahead, you know, you've got the whole season out in front of you. Looking at how you started, what are your goals for this year? And, you know, how do you feel like you've made progress so far and, you know, tried to make steps in the right direction towards those goals so far to start your season? Well, I would say not a lot of people have a lot of high expectations for uh, Truman Soccer, but we're out there every day working our hardest, and we're going to prove to everyone that we're a team that not a lot of people want to play on the schedule because – we're going to come out and work our hardest. So. And so now looking ahead at the season, you guys have gotten off to a pretty good start, got two really good wins, and then you know you played some really tough soccer against some tough teams. You know, what are your goals for the season? Um, I hope that we work hard in practice so we can do better in our games and win some more. Hey, what's going on, Patriots? So I'm here with award-winning assistant coach, Mr. Page, let's hop right into it. So, assistant girls basketball coach, you won best assistant coach in all the KC metro area. How does it feel? You know, what's the what's the feeling like right now? When I got the when I got the news, it's it's exciting, um, it's humbling. Uh, I've coached against so many great coaches over the years that there are dozens of them that could that could have gotten the award this year. Um, but I mean, the credit goes to the kids. I mean, I've coached 19 years here. Um, great kids, great parents, great faculty to work with. So I'm just a recipient of a lot of, of good fortune. And so next year, looking ahead, you know, looking back, building off this year, a big award, you know, how's it feel to come back next year and you're going to coach another team? Oh, I mean, every year, whether it's uh, basketball or baseball, when the season starts, I'm ready. I enjoy the time off, but. Um, we got two possibly uh, big returners next year in basketball. Good group of freshmen coming in, undefeated, all three teams at the junior high. So um, expect the big things next year. A lot of people probably won't, but, but we do. Good to hear, good to hear. See you next time, Patriots.